Red Pill Disclaimer Welcome to Godzell's channel. By watching this video, you are choosing to take the red pill and see how deep the rabbit hole goes. All opinions expressed are Godzell's alone, and any copyrighted content belongs to its respective owners. Viewer discretion is advised. Can you see it now? Can you see the matrix for what it truly is? Oh, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another one. We're back with another episode. I already know we're going to keep these coming each and every day. Just be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you do like videos like this. Let's get right into it. Things are turning up with the sun, y'all, because look at this over here. And I'm not talking about that huge X flare that just popped out the side of the sun. But this instrument over here that I've been looking at for a couple of years now, look, it's changed. Just about a month ago, this is what it used to look like. Do you guys notice anything different? You can clearly see in this picture over here, there is not as many sun rays protruding or emanating through this picture. But when you look at this one over here, you look at all these rays that are popping out of the sun. Not to mention, this thing over here changed. Like, it's red now, and then it's got a black dot and a yellow dot in the middle. Now, you know how people been saying there's multiple suns out there? Could this be the case? Could they be showing us this over here like that? You see, we just had another X flare today. But they're not showing you the other picture that I showed y'all. They're putting the old picture on here. Like I said, this is what it looks like now. Ironically enough, I have a video of the sun looking exactly like this with all these arms and legs coming out of it. Y'all see what I'm saying? Look at that, y'all. This was in Tennessee. It's like there's multiple bodies of light up there. Multiple luminaries. Multiple spheres. And it's got the X's going everywhere. Again, I've been looking at this instrument for about three years now, and I've noticed that it has changed a lot within the three years. Anybody else watch the Lasco Telescope? Can y'all confirm these changes? Now, I'm just trying to get answers from the TikTok community. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. As some of y'all may know, we just passed through the Lionsgate portal for the year 2024, and we are looking forward to an even more powerful Carrington-level solar storm event. As you see over here, it says the solar maximum is expected to occur sometime around July 2025 but it may already be happening. I don't know if y'all been paying attention, but almost every movie is pointing to some major blackout event, y'all. Once again, this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. What do you guys have to say about this? Let me know down in the comments below. What I got to say is, enjoy the moment. That's what I got to say. Like, enjoy, enjoy right now, you know? Because we don't know what's coming. You just gotta enjoy it for now, you know. But we all know something is crazy about to happen, man. And I'm pretty sure you can feel it, cause I can feel it. I know something's coming, but you know we just gotta be prepared. Try to get prepared, you know. But whatever's coming. This iridescence is just one example of the fact that birds with black feathers aren't actually black and have many, many colors that humans can't see in invisible spectrums that only birds can see. This iridescence is just one example of the fact... See this? This is energy too. If you get on the frequency this is on, you can't stop it coming. What did he say in here? He said, when the money starts coming, it'll come so fast and furious, you're going to wonder where it was hiding through all the lean years. And he's right. Most people don't understand that. They do not understand. They think you've got to go to work. you just got to work a little harder. Get out no. there. Put in more hours. Mm -hmm. it's energy. Wrong track. It's energy. That's what it is. Now look it. Einstein gave us some wonderful information. He said the intuitive mind that's the higher faculties, is a sacred gift. The rational mind's a faithful servant. That's our senses, okay? We've, reached, we've created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. Well, we want to start using these higher faculties. That's how you're going to create the wealth. Now, I showed you this yesterday, and I'm going to touch on it once today, but I want you, I want you to get this i want you to copy this down and i want you to pay attention to it and you 
just repeat this over and over and over again. Genevieve B. Rand uh, was a student of Thomas Troward. Thomas Troward, I believe, is one of the greatest authors of the last 500 years. Uh, this is one of his books that I have in a book stand here in front of my desk. I read those two pages every day, have for quite a while. It's Thomas Troward's work. Well, Genevieve B. Rand was his only student. She had to attract $20,000 in 1912 to go and work with him. And it's through studying what I'm putting on the screen here that enabled her to do it. Now, I'm not going to say you're going to grasp this overnight. You've got to keep reading it over and over and over. My mind is a center of divine operation. What do you mean my mind's a center of divine operation? Now, look at Think about this for a moment. Everything has a center. If I have a basketball, there's a point in that ball that's center, and that's determined by the outer side of the ball. There's a point in this room that's center, and that's determined by the outer measurements of the room. But when you get to the divine, when you get to God, to spirit, there is no outer measurements. You're talking about infinite. When you're talking about infinite, any point is center. My mind is the center of divine operations. So is yours. So is your next door neighbors. My mind's a center of divine operation. Now, the divine operation is always for expansion and fuller expression. The divine operation is always for expansion and fuller expression. And this means the production of something beyond what has gone before. This is not a this is not a repeat performance for you. We're going somewhere where you've never been. Remember when we told you that X out there? Well, the X out there is a place. If your imagination takes you there, you went somewhere. That is a place. And you can grow into that. You can. This means the production of something that's gone on before, beyond and has gone on before. Something entirely new. This is True creativity, something entirely new, not included in your past experience. However, though it's proceeding out of your past experience by an orderly sequence of growth. Now listen to me for a minute. Do you know that everything that's happened in your past has been necessary for yeah. you to get where you are? You know, yeah. all the good times and all the bad times, they're all necessary. Every one of them, everything that's happened has contributed to the conscious awareness that you have. So this is going to be something new that you're bringing about. It's something that's not included in your past experience, though it is proceeding out of your past experience by an orderly sequence of growth. You see, it's what you've done to this point that enables you to see how to go further. This is such a phenomenal piece of literature. Therefore, since the divine cannot change its inherent nature, see, the laws of the universe were not man-made, so they can't be changed by man. Winter always follows winter. Always. The night always follows the day. Think of this. Since the divine cannot change its inherent nature, now pay attention, it must operate in the same manner in me. Consequently, in my special world, of which I am center, it's going to move me forward to produce new conditions, always in advance of any that has gone before. If, and when I get in harmony with this power, that's what's going to happen. I would recommend you write this down. It may be out of the park to you right now. It's going to be closer than your breath if you keep studying it. This I know to be true. I've worked with it for many, many years. Okay? Now, one of the laws is the law of compensation. Your income is governed by law. Yet it's a law that you're never going to change. The law of compensation is very clear. See this? They want you to believe the pyramids were created like this. <laughs> we know dang well it was not built like this.
If it was that easy, we'd be doing that today. Like, come on, man. Nah, bro. They was using some type of technology or something. Come on. Get out of here. Well, if you have moles in certain places that tells you about how someone is, if, um, you know, you have a certain shape of your face, but you know, those things are very hard to teach. Yeah. The numerology, you can actually use examples and people can see with their own eyes because that's what has to happen. People have to see it with their own eyes to believe it. Yeah. Well, if you have moles in certain places. There is no way that nobody's questioning Rich Homie Kwan's passing away. So you're telling me around the time that he gets mentioned and his dad gets mentioned in the trial that Woody and his people pew pewed the barbershop and then Rich Homie Kwan starts going trending again that he just all of a sudden passes away out for a drug overdose? Like, come on, man. This man was only 34 years old, bro. And he even explicitly talked about him not doing the drugs no more ever since he stopped messing with Doug and, you know what I mean, so and so. So it's like, it's crazy that, like, people... Like, they still think that we'll believe that he passed away from a drug overdose. Listen, man, I don't believe it, man. I do not believe it. I think somebody got something to do with it. I've been seeing the Germantrio numbers, and I've been seeing everything that's been going on with him being 34, and his, his last name is Lamar, and Young Thug's middle name is Lamar, or if, if it's the opposite. I don't know, man, but I know there's something fishy going on. Yeah. There is no... I honestly feel like it, this was a, a setup, for real. Because we know. Come on, man. Y'all know something ain't right about that. Like, come on. Let's dive into this real quick. Wait, you was doing tracks at the time? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I smoke weed, but I was doing, like, you know. Different shit. Yeah. No, I ain't no putting that in my nose. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just No, sir. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> Yeah, you stop that now. Yeah, I, I mean, I've been on my, I've been clean on mine for like six years. That's dope, bro. That's a, that's progression. Yeah, next you gonna be there. You gonna stop smoking? Fuck no. Never. I ain't never heard nobody OD down smoking. Nah, nah, nah. You can't. How many cars you got? Um, Not like five years, bro. Now five years, bro. Yeah. I don't like. Yeah. I had that's what I'm saying. Because when I first started making that music. I didn't know Miley, you feel me? So I had to get back just to myself like this ain't, nah, 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 I ain't, you ain't going out like that, little bro. Right. I'm not going out like that, man. Right. All I think about it, bro, they already say it like David Ruffin. That's what, when I used to have a rich homie temp. Yeah. He was like, but David Ruffin. And I ain't like, nah, he was a drug. Nah, he wasn't out on drugs. Don't compare me. Don't say I look like him. And I don't, nah, and that shit was, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I shook that shit, bro. Yeah. I shook it, man. Cause like one day I just. See, you see what I'm saying, bro? That's how you know, like. Some, it's something deeper behind his death. This has got to be because how is he talking about this? Like, what this was like a couple of like two months ago, brother. Like, come on, y'all. Just look, I had to look yeah. at myself outside of myself. I had to look at myself outside of my body. You trip. Basis loaded. Let me calm down because I'm too hyped. Now, forget that. Bottom of the ninth. And this is just a mixtape. Listen. I'm ahead of my time. Something said before I made the video about Rich Homie Kwan Part 2, drop an overdose video because a lot of people like to run around and say, oh, this is a conspiracy theory. This is a conspiracy theory. No, wanting to make a million dollars from drinking lean and smoking weed with the engineer in the studio saying take two and the director yelling cut. That's a conspiracy theory. Mr. Keep It Simple, let's go. And I'm going to say this again. Everybody want to talk about conspiracy theory. You thinking that somebody cares about your life about what you've been through in the streets of Atlanta. You think if somebody cares about what you've been through in the streets of Chicago, you think that you could go in the studio and make music and make millions off of your struggles of not having milk in the fridge, you Captain Crunch. Let's go! Now, let it breathe. <laughs> and this is just a mixtape, David Ruffins. The next slide is going to give you goosebumps. Rich homie Kwan was thinking 10 steps ahead. But... When you turn your back on Birdman, Birdman gonna punish you. Birdman is a slave master. Birdman is the enforcer. Birdman is sent to make sure that he controls the next talent. Birdman has a job within the industry. And if Birdman can't control you, Birdman gonna try to fold you. And I'm gonna say that again. If Birdman cannot control you, Birdman, but before I finish this slide, what happened to David Ruffin's cause of death? Drug overdose. You guys 
I always tell you, shout out to Puerto Rico once again for BR, for pattern recognition. Now, like this that. is David Ruffins and this is Rich Homie Quan. And you guys saw in the Math Alpha interview, and I, I wasn't following Rich Homie Quan. I wasn't following his moves because honestly, they blackballed him. So how can you even know what he's doing if he's blackballed, let it breathe? But at the end of the day, he went on the first interview. He said, listen, I stopped doing Molly for five years. I'm clean. He said, ain't nobody going to die for weed. Facts. He went on Math Hoffa and he also said, I'm clean because everybody said I look like David Ruffins. And he literally does look like David Ruffins. And spit an image of David Ruffins, which is scary. But he said, I don't want to go out like David Ruffins. You guys have to understand. I said this was an industry hit. I don't watch other YouTubers. Shout out to all the other YouTubers that make content. But listen... I watch my own content. I don't watch nobody else's content but my content. So when I make content, I don't know what other people are saying. People always say, oh, you sound, I don't sound like nobody. I'm in my own lane. And if you come in my lane, you're going to get sideswiped. Scared. You guys have to understand, this was Rich Homie Kwan manager, which was his father. His father did an interview. I'm going to put the link in the description. I usually don't play videos, but I had to play them too in the beginning, let it breathe. But you see his father on Double XL, right? When I talk about the South and the ex-football Clemson star just got shot in Greensboro, North Carolina, my second home, my stomping grounds. When I talk about the South and how cutthroat it is, when I talk about the South, how you can't trust your own parents. When I talk about the South, how you can't trust your own cousins. When I talk about the South, how you can't trust your best friend. They say, Mr. Keep It Simple, you can't talk about the South like that. They don't want you to know the truth. Rich homie Kwan father was at the crime scene. Rich homie Kwan father said they was taking him off in a stretcher. All I did was run in the house in prayer. Mm. If your son is going to the hospital, let me take my time. Let it breathe. I know. I know you guys are cheering for me. The ones who actually do care. But in life, honestly, nobody really cares. And before I go any further, I got a suicide video dropping as well, too. And I just want to let you guys know, at the end, nobody cares. If I get banned from YouTube, guess what? You know what they're going to say? Oh, that's his dumb fault for keeping it too real. Nobody really cares. But this was the interview. Crying. Fake tears. Welcome to the South. You still want to come to HBCU down here? Come and take a ride with me. You still want to go to Smith Homes in Greensboro? Come and take a ride with me. You still want to go to Mississippi? You still want to go to Alabama? You still want to go to Louisiana? Come and take a ride with me. Welcome to the South. Cutthroat City. Welcome to the jungle. Only the Hand-to-hand -hand combat is too fast. A hand-to-hand -hand transaction like Taekwondo is too fast. The perky slow it down. The lean slow it down. This man's son went to the hospital on a stretcher. He ran in the house and started to pray. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't the prayer work better if you ran to the hospital and put your hand on your son and put, a, put your hand on his heart or put your hand on his mouth since he was foaming at the mouth? Wouldn't it be better if you actually went to the hospital? No, this sucker, this Captain Crunch, this blow, this Pop Tart, this Blow Pop, this Oodles and Noodles, this Strip Fried Rice, this Mitchell, this Mr. Hibachi Head, this Lemon Head ran inside the house instead of running to the hospital with your son. What type of father is that? And I'm gonna tell you what type of father is that. See, Rich Homie Quan Dad never had a father. So don't let this be. For all you guys out there without a father, I'm going to drop a gem. Don't be a friend to your son. Be the man to your son. He wanted to be a friend to his son. And this is the problem with our community. You guys have to understand. Rich Homie Kwan, this was his four kids, looked just like him. His father also said Rich Homie Kwan had a scholarship to play football. Listen, let's stay out of this entertainment industry as a whole Let's stay out of this. YouTube to me is a free college. Everybody put an FC for free college. If your tire break down, you could literally have a spare in the back. You could got your tools in the back. You could literally watch a YouTube video on the side of the road yep. and you could change your own tire. You got the educational side. Then you got the YouTube Academy. That's what it is. You could be doing anything on YouTube. Just look it up. Entertainment side. Listen, so pick nice. your poison. Red pill or the blue pill. Welcome to the matrix. Let it breathe. And this is just a mixtape. You guys have to understand, this was the mother of his child. 
She called calm 911. The father of my child. I put a sheet over his like you, you you know like with the, the new ai and all that stuff y'all like we don't even know if like they use the ai voice you know like what if that was fake but you know i'm not gonna get too conspiracy you know theory i'm not gonna get like that i'm gonna just you know let things play out and, hey you know, the same way the like kkk picture. put a sheet over their face right you guys have to understand this was the calmest 911 call. Even the person, the dispatcher that picked up, had no sense of urgency. Usually, the dispatcher, like, what happened? What happened? Do we need to get somebody out there? This was by design. This was scripted. And let's talk about Birdman, because we talk about Woody. So it's only right we talk about the real government informant, Birdman, the one who has lunch in the Jewish community. He been eating lunch in the Jewish community. I look at Birdman Instagram. I didn't even know if he had one. Situations like this, sometimes they usually deactivate them. Birdman posts when Rich Homie Kwan died, he promoting cash money. Welcome to the South. No love for Birdman. You ain't going to get a rest in peace. You ain't going to get a prayer to the family. You ain't going to get anything for Birdman. Birdman never cared about Rich Homie Kwan, Birdman never cared about Young Thug, Birdman never cared about Turk, Birdman never cared about cash money. Birdman cares about himself and what he gotta do to be the enforcer in the industry. The industry, they trust Birdman that if any one of these young house slaves, that's all they are, they happy to say we in the house, they happy Kanye West said we in the house, they happy to go up in the White House, Casablanca, whatever you wanna call it, let it breathe, they happy for that. Nothing makes a nothing makes a validated man more stimulated to go in in the White House. Make it make sense. Somebody left a purse and say, "Damn, Birdman, you ain't even going to acknowledge Rich Homie Kwan died, bro. You made a lot of money. That was all it was about. Yeah. But it wasn't really about the money. It was about the control. Somebody also said, Nino Brown, a control YouTuber, also said, Rich Homie Kwan, rest in peace. You guys have to understand, Birdman liked that quote." Because a lot of people don't know, but Nino Brown was actually in the industry with DJ Khaled, a culture vulture himself, talking about <laughs> DJ Khaled never paid him a dime. Why would a why would somebody from why would somebody from Palestine who looked like their name could be Gary? Why would they give you a dime? What is you stupid or what is you high? Make it make sense. Birdman, how are you this close, so close to a man, to the point where there's no breathing room? And yet you can't post rest in peace because it was a hit. I had to delete somebody two days ago. They left. They said he died from a bad pill. Nothing here to see. Oh, you guys sound like the Masonic police officers yourself. Bad pill, nothing here to see. How do you know it was a bad pill? That's the problem. Everybody, when it's time to go, you either go from drugs or you go from slugs. One or the other. It could be drugs or it could be slugs. Pick your poison. But when it comes to entertainment, we need to stay out of this industry as a whole. The problem with melanated people, we feel that entertainment is our only option. We feel that either we run a football and catch concussions to the point that we walk around with a jello head. All football players, that's how I view all football players. It doesn't matter if they're in the NFL, doesn't matter if they're in college, doesn't matter if they're in Pee Wee football. I look at them like jello heads. You're running around with a helmet getting blasted out of bounds, going through a wall like a character of a Tekken 9. You ain't nothing but a jello head. So they want us to be jello heads. Everybody can't play basketball. You literally got to be six feet plus. So that excludes half the population, unless you're from South Sudan. Shout out to South Sudan. So at the end of the day, entertainment is like, if I can't make it in football, if I can't make it in basketball, half of us don't play tennis. And the ones who do play tennis, they literally bleach their skin. But you saw Birdman in Little Way and kiss it on that slide. That's what Birdman is all about. He is here to make sure the gay agenda is pushed. That is it. He was there with NLE Chopper and he was there with Lil Wayne and that is it. Look at Young Thug talk about one of my dads. One of my dads and Atlanta vouched for this. Atlanta promoted this. Little Baby was rider for this. Savage 21, the immigrants taking all our jobs was rider for this. My man said, what about dads? Then if you look, Young Thug talk about me and my hubby. Come on, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anybody said. When I say why I sell Woody, 
and all of them were bisexual shooters, people start laughing, but come on, man. You gonna call another man your hubby? Atlanta, you guys went to sold out concerts. Gonna, gonna, drip too hard. Nah, 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 bro. Yeah. Rich, which I'm calling was not with that, bro. He was not with it, I'm telling you. He, you see he was staying out the way? Like, come on, bro. Like, this whole movement was suspect from the start. I never listen to Young Thug. People say, oh, he just doing that for attention. Well, that's the problem. That's the problem. People justify this nonsense. Now, this happened in July. Like I said, I wasn't keeping track. But I made videos about Leo Cohen. I'm ahead of my time. Look who, do, look who we see before the hit happens. Young Thug manager, July 3rd. July 3rd, yeah. Young Thug is still in his Masonic trial. Who do we see Leo Cohen with? It's crazy. I really dropped the video about Leo Cohen and Dame Dash. Listen, shout out to 50 Cent. Not to shout him out, but if he never talked about Dame Dash being broke, I would have never made the video about Leo Cohen and how he punishes black people. We still get in public lashes till his day. In the words of Deontay Wilder, till his day, we get in public lashes of humility. You go against, you go against the man who literally lives in a Jewish community, has family in a Jewish community, is respected in a Jewish community. You go against him, he will make sure your whole career comes to an end. Rich Homie Kwan, even though he was in too deep, just like in Chanton, even though they were in too deep, they still speak out. They don't want you to speak out. As an artist, they want you to sign that blood contract and tour until you die. That is the music industry. You got to perform until you die. You got people like Genuine falling off a stage. Make it make sense. Half these dudes, they falling off a stage. Look at Martin Lawrence. He did Bad Boy, Bad Boy 3, Bad Boy 4, whatever it was. Dude looked like he couldn't even walk. Once you sign that contract, you got to perform until you die. Welcome to the life of Hollywood. Welcome to the life of being an entertainer. Welcome to the life of being a performer. So you mean to tell me, Leo Cohen, the head of YouTube Music, he gives him the YouTube leaders. Man, Birdman, they did nothing for the culture but kill people within the culture. That's all Birdman did. He came with fake Rolexes. You can get a fake Roly online. What did he do other than come with fake Rolex watches and a fake lifestyle? But this is an iconic picture. Look how Birdman takes a sip of the cup. Look how rich homie Kwan takes a sip of the cup. But look how young thug does not take a sip of the cup. When the hit is good, listen, they had a hit out on this man since the beginning. From the beginning, Birdman knew Rich Homie Kwan was going to be the one that rebelled. It's like this in corporate America. It's like this in the industry. If you talk back, you will get fired. If you talk back, you will have a conversation with HR. The music industry is just like corporate America. It's worse than corporate America. Because with corporate America, at least if you get fired, you could go to another job. In the music industry, when you get fired, you don't go to another job. You go to the afterlife. You go to the person that you was throwing up the horns to. You literally meet the goat. You literally meet Lucy. Let it breathe. You guys have to understand. Birdman is so close to Rich Homie Kwan, and you can't get a rest in peace. You know why? Because Birdman was a part of the hit. Listen, and it's crazy. Before we go any further, we got to talk about that sucker Lil Wayne. And when I say Lil Wayne is a sucker, Lil Wayne is a sucker. Birdman, when Lil Wayne did... lights up it's time for you to start watching the patterns they think that nobody's catching on to them i'm definitely i've been on them i've been on the i've been on them and how they've been operating they think that because they're doing things on a spiritual level behind the scenes that nobody can see them y'all got y'all a lot of y'all on my instagram was telling me some don't feel right about that. You had every right to feel that way because something wasn't right about it. Your spirit was telling you that something wasn't right about it and you're absolutely correct. You see, even you inlatently know that when you hear a story coming from these people, as not to mention we just naturally don't trust them anyway. There's already a natural distrust there. But at the same time, when it comes to discernment, 
When it comes to discernment, you can't automatically assume that every death out here is, 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 is some type of sacrifice. But in this particular case, or those two, two, two particular cases, it is exactly what you think that it is. So now, I want to break something else down to you. If you have a vice and you've been in that space, if you have a vice such as snorting cocaine, smoking weed, doing mollies, doing that drink, you know, that purple drink, whatever, whatever that is, that stuff that Lil Wayne was on, okay, allegedly. If you have any kind of vice and you're in that space, if they feel the need to take you right on up out of here to harvest your energy, they're going to do that. And they're going to capitalize off the fact that everybody knows that you do this, 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 and this. So it makes it very believable. They can hide under the cover of this, that, and this. Okay. That's a very easy story to tell. If you're overweight, oh, well, he had a stroke or he had a cut or he had a heart attack. You see, there's different types of rituals and sacrifices that take place, such as the one they do on the stage. Where now the people who watched the fat man scoop pass away on that stage the way that he did, they're never going to forget that for the rest of their lives and not in a good way. The energy harvest, they'll never forget that as long as they live. They will never forget that what they saw that is done strategically. And with rich homie Kwan having the kind of following that he had has because of his affiliations and who he did deals with to make his money and so forth and so on. And because he got out there because he was teaming up with young thug and other artists and so forth and so on. Okay. He became a bigger artist. Now the whole world is upset and sad. And guess who's harvesting the energy? So I just want to put you guys up on game about how they operate and how they move. Now you know how they operate and how they move and then pay attention to the time of the year that it is right now. Pay attention. What's happening right now? What's the biggest talk on TV, on radio, on the internet? What are people having debates over? What's going on? What is the biggest talk right now? Which is crazy to me because <laughs> it's just, it's just the, the, the politics behind this whole thing is just crazy to me. You would think that people would have caught on by now because it's cyclic. Everything they do is cyclic. Okay? It really is. Then we hear about some kid that goes through some school and kills about four people. And here we go yeah, with the too. other sacrifice. So I said it in my 2024 predictions that there's going to be people leaving from here that you're not going to expect to leave from here. Y'all are going to hear about it. It's going to be shocking and devastating. And I talked about bigger rappers leaving from here. I never said the names. Y'all was guessing names. I was throwing names out there. I never said the names. But this continues. Last year. So I want you to think about last year was takeoff. So I want you to think about, because now these So I want you to think about, because now these artists that are out here right now, I got a message for them. Y'all better get your spiritual protection game up ASAP. Mm. Y'all better get with your ancestors and get with some, some something, something that can protect you from that. Don't walk out here all willy nilly thinking that everything is all good because anybody is fair game in the music business, uh. especially artists.
that and, like that that gotta suck you know we be trying to like get out of your little whatever you're going through but you gotta be like grateful for the like the little stuff like some of them that can't go with like out like more than twenty thousand a month like you should be okay with just that like y'all gonna just do youtube and just instead of silence and all these labels and, hey man they they get their sub call up in that stuff you know it's like you get richer and richer circulating right now where a man claims that god gave him a vision of a tsunami hitting california check out a small bit of it Four months ago, God told me that a tsunami coming to California and destroying the coast of California. Y'all ever heard of the San Andreas Fault? Yeah. It's finna get ready to happen, brother. I came from Atlanta, Georgia, bro. I don't know nobody in California. I got a wife. I got kids. He said, get up and go save my children in California. And that's what I'm doing, bro. For those of you who may not know, the San Andreas Fault is a fault line that spans all the way through California where two plates of Earth's crust meet. It's commonly believed that if these plates were to slip, it would cause massive earthquakes, tsunamis, and billions of dollars worth of damage. Now, obviously, no one knows for sure whether or not the vision or information he received was from God. But I will say that there's been quite a few articles released recently talking about the rapid movement of the earth in California. And although it is normal for the earth to shift in California, this may be a little more than normal and has led some people to believe that this may be the San Andreas Fault becoming active. I want you to check out a news article and then let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Close look at the destruction in Rancho Palos Verdes caused by unprecedented land movement. Recent reports suggest the ground is moving about a foot per week. Fox 11's Matthew Seedorf is live tonight after navigating through some of the most treacherous areas of that neighborhood. Matthew? Christine, really unbelievable to see just how much this land has moved. Now, this road used to be up where our camera is now. I estimate probably 12 feet higher than where we are currently, and it's only getting worse out here. There's a video circulating right now where a man claims that God yeah, gave. Definitely, it's definitely something crazy gonna happen there. They even a movie out on it. They know. When you know your worth, you will start getting more they females. The reason why a lot of y'all have a problem with getting females is because you don't know who the fuck you are. So easy for you to give girls more energy than you give yourself. Constantly sliding up heart eyes, liking stories, always trying to give, give, give. You being in that constant energy shows that you're not worth anything. You wouldn't be doing that if you knew that you were a prize yourself. You wouldn't be so quick to look at girls as what they can offer for you, but what you can offer for them. They're no longer on that pedestal because if you put them on that pedestal, then they're looking down on you. Start to lock in on your personal development. Heal yourself. Do in internal work all that shit will raise your frequency to the point where females attract to you naturally you won't have to try you won't have to chase if you're trying and chasing you already lost because that's the frequency that repels females it's about you not needing them that's what's gonna and there's no offense like this you know i love y'all it's about you not needing them and that's what's gonna make them attract so if you really want to get females stop wanting to get females I love y'all but you know you're this is the best way to be Bruh. i'm gonna buy some strawberries and i'm offering exactly the right amount of money here on the help desk so you people take that money, £1.90, and I will take my strawberries outside. You can't take that. 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 You can I'm going to eat my strawberries. I paid my legal tender in this dystopian place. I'm going to buy some strawberries. That's what I'm talking about. Elon Musk can make rockets. He can make all of these amazing pieces of technologies. But guess what he cannot make? And what no one in the world could ever replicate? the human body. The human body is the most advanced piece of technology on the face of the earth and you are inside of it. The brain is a supercomputer. You cut your body, it heals itself. Everything is run automatically. It is an electrical mechanical machine. You are a robot and you're inside of this. You've been gifted the technology of the human body to experience this reality. If I came to you with this book 
and said, I didn't create it, it just appeared one day. You'd say, I'm absolutely insane. But when it comes to the most advanced piece of technology on the face of the earth, you think it's evolution. You think it just appeared one day. No, the veil has been pulled over your eyes, people. You're in the most advanced piece of technology on the face of the earth that no one could ever replicate. When will you realize that we are inside of pretty much a simulation this is a simulation and it's produced by your body the brain produces your reality without the brain you're dead you can't be in this reality the body is a holographic computer simulation it produces a holographic simulation that you are experiencing elon musk you got to realize that you were sent here for a reason. And I, I know it may be hard. I know that it's difficult being around and, and growing up around people like that. And you really couldn't express yourself the way you wanted to because you had to constrict your vibration to where they're at to be, even be around these people. And when, and when you notice when you get away from them or you go over your cousin's house or your friend's house, you're a totally different person. That's because they're not giving you the opportunity to express yourself. Get away from people like that. I don't care if it's family. Get away from your mama. Get away from your cousin. Get away from your girlfriend. Get away from your friend. Get away from your father. Get away from your brother. Get away from your sister. Get away from all of them. All they gonna do is try to keep you at their vibration. And they gonna keep piercing and piercing and piercing into your aura field until they can see through. I need y'all to realize that these negative entities and these demons, they work through low vibrational people. It's easy to get into them. It's easy to step into their aura field because they just open. When you solid, when your light is bright, imagine it like this. Say, for instance, you go visit your family soon as you walk in. Let's look at the spiritual part of it. Soon as you walk in, you literally, your light is so bright because you're so different and you're so talented and you're so gifted mentally and you have a spiritual height that other people don't. As soon as you walk in, every single demon that's manipulating your family members is looking at you and you wondering why you getting into arguments with them. You wondering why 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 they just keep picking on you and trying to pick at you and and and, and every single one of them your brother your sister your mama every single person inside of that house is piercing into your auric field look at it from that standpoint because their darkness it's, it's been dark in there for a long time right it's been dark inside of this house as soon as you walk in with that bright ass light they're not gonna like that it's like you laying in a bed and it's dark and somebody walk in and turn the light on you're gonna get yelled at so don't when you get into that that situation where you're around family members or you're even around in work and around colleagues who just you get that rear feeling you ain't never did nothing to them but you can tell that they don't like you you know for no reason i've had that experience you gotta realize that you were sent here for a reason mm -hmm. and I, I know it may be you talking about real stuff right now right. Hold on. shout out to uh real q make sure that you are paying attention to the signs that god will place in your life when he is trying to let you know that you are a chosen one now, because you're a chosen one, you were most likely the black sheep of your bloodline who is meant to stir up the generational traumas out of your family. This is why you as an individual are often misunderstood and people struggle to understand your true purpose. And because your third eye is activated, you often receive premonitions through the form of dreaming. And because you also have the ability of clairaudience, you are also able to hear God within the space of your mind. You have this ability of creating miracles out of nothing because God has placed this ability within your spirit. And this often leaves individuals confused on how you've been able to prevail through all the adversities sent to you. To speak prayers into existence like they've already been manifested. This is God trying to let you know that you are chosen. Make sure that you are paying attention to the signs that God will place in your life when he is trying to let you know that he will place in your life. Tiger and monkey. America is a monkey nation. The most popular sport in America is the NFL. 1920 was founded. 1920 is a monkey sport. No one gives a damn about the NFL, except for maybe the Super Bowl one time a year. No one cares about it from outside the United States of America. But in a monkey nation, a monkey sport will flourish. Just like I've seen immigrants who come to America. And if they're born in the monkey year, they flourish. On the other end, the enemy of the monkey is the tiger. 
uh, Prime Minister of India, Modi. He's born in the Tiger year. When he was a diplomat, he was barred from this country. Again, enemy sign dynamic. Wesley Snipes went to prison for what? I don't know. Tax evasion. How many stars do you know who went to prison for tax evasion? Not many. So mostly people say, yo, that was racism. He's a black man. No, 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 no. He's a tiger in a monkey country. Mm. So tigers will honestly take L's m more in America than any other sign. Wow. This is how you have to look at things. And if you're in Canada, and Canada was founded in a cat year, guess what? Roosters in that country are going to take L's. This is a way to apply this knowledge. We don't have to, um, faith. faith is one thing. We need to start thinking. We need to start using this type of knowledge. And trust me, I'm getting to something. You guys are going to love the ending. Mm. Tiger and monkey. That's the only way they can communicate to you is if you have a clear mind, which means you have to be in a present moment to receive. How are you in a present moment if you keeping emotional ass friends around you that's using your energy to pick they self up? How are you in a present moment keeping people around you that's talking about other people's problems 24 seven? That's the only way they can communicate to you. There you go. Give me one more. Ah! Come on. Two more. Just like that. You ready? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what the deal, everybody? My name is Kendrick Lamar, and I'll be performing at Super Bowl 59. Will you be pulling up? I hope so. You know there's only one opportunity to win a championship. No round twos. Let's get it. Boom! <laughs> I won't want you to miss it. Meet me in New Orleans. February 9th, 2025. Wear your best dress, too. Even if you're watching from home. Let's go. So I'm talking about man. Now we can get to it for real. Come on, you gotta, you gotta make sure you catch him with the hands open like that. We running real routes. You gonna be messing up. <laughs> See, we running real routes. You gonna be messing up. Yo, he gonna play not like us. Oh man, in front of dang, that gotta suck to be Drake, huh? That's tough. <laughs> Go wild. At the Super Bowl? Dang, Dre, that's tough. Being in a know. quiet really house lost. in the dark, turning the lights off and feeling you, like feeling your essence, your being, and it's not where you want it to be, that is some scary shit, bro. Because you got to deal with that. The darkness get thick. You know, you, you start hearing the house settle. You hear little movements and cracklings. You can hear your heart beating. You can feel your blood pumping through your body. You can, you can listen and hear your breath. It's like, dang, it's just, it's you. You, you just left to deal with you. Then them thoughts creep in. You know, I'm not good enough. This is why I'm not good enough. I did that person wrong. Dang, remember you did that. See, it's because it's, when you in the spotlight, I'm in the spotlight a lot. I get a lot of compliments. Everybody want autographs. They want uh, autographs. They want pictures. It keep me in my ego. But when you by yourself and the ego gone, you got to deal with who you are and what you did, man. It be, it be sins that you forgot you committed that when you meditating by yourself, they get brought. Damn, I did that 10 years ago. I forgot I even committed that. And that shows you how desensitized we have become a, as a people. You can do some hurtful things in your past years. You either done suppressed it subconsciously or you too much in your ego. You done forget that you did people wrong. You need to be more humble. You used to be in the streets. You used to gangbang. You know what that consists of. You need to be more humble about yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just learning... I'm really learning to accept, surrender to myself, and after that surrender, take my power back, man. Being in a quiet house in the dark. 
If you've always been considered the jack of all trades, then you most likely have the spiritual ability known as the sponge. As a chosen one, you have to understand your ability and why you're able to master things at the rate that you can. You have went through the processes of awakening your pineal gland to receive the energies of the universe and your ancestral bloodline. This is the reason why you're always intuitively able to learn things without having any prior knowledge. With this ability, you have to understand that you do not need to be within the crowd. And you most likely will find yourself encountering individuals who do not like the way that you're able to get things at a fast rate and this will manifest jealousy within their spirit. With this special ability, you have to make sure that you're keeping your ego in check. Your ego will create an unsafe environment and hinder your abilities from manifesting through the powers of God. If you've What am I looking at? Is this a TV? Yo. Wait, why does it look like that? Am I tripping? Is, is it because they up super close? Somebody let me know what's going on, bro. I'm that gotta be a screen. That gotta be, you know what? Because look how the, the referee, like. That's crazy. Have you ever talked about something and then got an ad for it on your phone right after? It's the yeah. weirdest feeling, and a company just admitted to doing this. So Cox Media Group was pitching to investors their active listening software, saying that AI is using what they call real-time intent data by listening to our conversations, saying advertisers can use this, and that we leave a data trail based on our conversations and online behavior. Companies have spoke up about this, Google saying they removed CMG from its partners program, Meta is saying that they're reviewing this company to see if it violates any terms of service and that they do not use our microphone for ads. Amazon has said it has never worked with CMG and has no plans to do so. Have you ever talked about something and then got an ad for it on your phone? Because the bases in the water, that's where the grades mainly live. I don't think a lot of people knew that, but the bases in the water, the grades mainly live out there. The bases that's on the under the ground is where the reptilians mostly live. But the grades mostly live in the water. That's why um there's a lot of um ancient aliens or history channel episodes coming out about USO unidentified submerged object. They call them USOs or whatever. Unidentified submerged object. Those be grades. If y'all Get sacrificed, get on a jail, wonder if that's my life Stay on purpose, trust up and I'll be alright Third eye open, I'm hoping I'm seeing right Rich homies just overdose, what is my people doing? They drug for killing, I said they don't even kill us no more Kill us, kill they laughing, I encore Fuck that, I'm pushing a piece Too much people is going to cease I'm telling the truth, I'm not trying to reach Trap into your soul, you got all of the keys I just plan it, I just want to leave Suffocating, I just want to breathe God give everything that I need I'm cut from a different breed Plan the garden to give me a seed I'm a leader, please follow my lead Follow yourself, you don't need a leader Just follow your intuition Talk to cheap, but your knowledge is expensive Trust your heart, cause that is your center I got God, I don't need me a mentor I'm the best, what the fuck I'm a sin for Demons at me, I kill them like 10 for I'm in for holding, so what is you in for? What the fuck is you even alive for? My family is what I die for My daughter is who I ride for No one is who I lie for Love is what I cry for Everything is within, what am I going outside for? Meditate, eating vegan, not eating no steak The devil, he want me, so he wanna take I stay in the house, I'm not running from Jake's This is my life, so success I'ma make All these rappers get sacrificed Ooh, Dead on the jail, I'm Yes, okay, let's be snapping Okay, I'm all, he be going there yeah. So this is Chinese mukbanger. I don't know if you watch her. Yeah, yeah. This mukbanger does timed mukbang. Like so she'll sit there. The speed? 
No, she'll sit there for six hours doing mukbangs. And how long was she eating? Fam, a lot. And in the middle of her video, her stomach started bleeding. Oh, she, she yeah. Went to the hospital. Rushed to the hospital, and the the nurse kind of did like what what you did. Yeah, they fixed it. They fixed it and stuff, which is it was miraculous that they even fixed they that. They fix it and just let her go. Yeah, and they let her go, right? And they said you have to stop doing videos. And the parents were like, yeah. listen to the nurse. Stop doing the mukbang. That's a livelihood, bro. Yeah. So yes. so she she was like, since this is my life, I have to keep doing it. So the next week does a 10 hour mukbang live stream presses the record button sister and eats dies on camera because her stomach finally ripped apart and they did the autopsy and her stomach had uneaten food so she was just swallowing stuff at one point so she was swallowing pizza full hamburgers yeah. not chewing shit ripped open damn so she was just like vacuuming yeah. you bro. crazy yeah. so this is chinese a fool with him digesting That is crazy, bro. That's sad. Damn. And that's, that was her life, you know? She got to make YouTube videos. You know? That's how she make her money. So she had to keep eating. Damn. Did you guys know there are about 3,200 homes in Southern California that are experiencing a power outage right now? See right now, throughout the whole California, they are experiencing a heat wave, especially <laughs> down in SoCal. I just showed y'all that Los Angeles itself is experiencing 110 degree weather. And to continue on this whole week, they are going to be experiencing triple digit numbers, y'all. Look at that. Now, the school that's experiencing the power outage is Mount St. Mary's, which is actually close to USC. Now, if you look closely, you can see this whole college campus is without power. But if you look in the background, you can still see parts of the city that have power. Here is the grid line showing y'all what is going on, like the places that are experiencing the power outage. Y'all see that? And then once you go over to USC, Here's USC over here. You can clearly see that USC has power. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Even the stadium. That's the stadium over here. The stadium has power. But to the north of it, no power. And if you go to the west of it, to the west of USC, they're going to pull over here. There's no power. Y'all see that? Y'all see how dark it is over here? Here's another grid line showing y'all. But yes, this heat wave is literally taking out the power in California. And then Congressman Ted Lieu declared a state of emergency for the state of California because of these heat waves. Now, I used to live in California and I don't ever remember California hitting triple digit numbers. So the shift is here shifting really quickly. Yo. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Like, comment and share for more videos like this, y'all. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift. Peace. I just got a feeling like there's something in the background that's going on right now that no one is talking about. I know I come on here and I say this shit a lot, but I keep getting this crazy feeling, yo. I'm like, yo, it's been way too quiet lately, yo, you feel me? Even when it come down to just seeing like certain content and shit like that, it just have not been the same, y'all. The other thing is, is like, we're just a couple more months away from, you know saying, figuring out where we're going to go within the next couple years, if y'all catch my drift. It's always some weird shit that pop up around these times. And I realized lately, all of the videos that I've been trying to put up that's actually trying to tell y'all about something, they've been getting taken down. I've been shadow banned. I got kicked off the creative program and all that. All my other content friends like me have been wiped out, like deleted accounts. And they got me financially, which like made me not want to do videos, you feel me? And I know it's a lot of us like that. I need y'all to read my lips real quick. Go on Google and type in. Like suddenly and go in the news section. You're going to see what I'm talking about. I'll put y'all on. If y'all want to support, dollar sign snap guy. Or this, this is one of the creepiest videos I've ever seen. Okay, his parents told him to go wake his brother up. He's going upstairs. He's apparently in his brother's bedroom. Oh, no. Brother, I think you, your brother's a demon.
Don't go up there. <coughs> okay, it looks like a normal addict. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching and stay weird, yo. Our soy is so bad. Like, you know, we over here, you know, me and you, we both plant based, right? But yeah, you already know being plant based is like, you got to be like 100% because if you go into the veganism, it's like it's so many products that have soy in it. So it's like you are at the risk of becoming more feminine being a vegan male. You're the risk of becoming more, you know, more of a soy boy. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, show us some of the products here. You know, when you go vegan, it's important for you to get your you know so called pro <coughs> proteins amino acids but what you need to understand is that it doesn't have to come from a soy based derivative you know you can still get those same amino acids those protein building blocks from other sources i'll give you an example of something that has soy that's uh easy for vegans is something like uh tofurkey for example tofurkey you know it would symbolize something similar to like lunch meat right it's easy quick easy on the go meal but when you turn over the back, it's filled with all type of preservatives, artificial, um, you know, creations, so to speak, to put inside it to mimic the consistency of bologna or like turkey meat. You know, you have soy in here. Soy has something called phytoestrogens. The body breaks that down into estrogen. You know, an overconsumption of soy can cause estrogenic effects in males and in women. It can cause fibroid tumors because it overcompensates <coughs> for extra soy into the uterus, which it causes PCOS because of the starch. The soy is not good at all for men or Damn. women in overconsumption. Now, if you're balancing it out and you might, you know, you might have it very, very rarely, I would say for someone vegan, let this be something that's transitionary. Let it be very seldom. Them, don't overconsume it, you know, because it can cause issues over time. Look at commercials. If you are a loved one, be eating the beyond an impossible meat and have a foot going out your ass, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, family. <laughs> Basically, this is transitionary. Yeah. Get on it when you get off, get off it, you know, move on to better things. Tap in with my brother, you know, he got a lot of things that help detox the body when you first getting off of the meat, you know, and getting the mind right, getting your soul, body, and spirit intact and in alignment. Right. That's the goal, but you know, transitionary. Don't don't beat yourself up because you're eating this. You know, like I said, we all went down this route, but we got right. out there. That's real. If you really want coconut water, you need to have coconuts fresh off the coconut tree. Okay. You know, this so this is okay it's until okay. you can get that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But when I was spending time in Africa, drinking on coconuts fresh off, it's a different type of electrolyte that you can actually feel in your tongue. Versus when I drink this, I drink. I feel like I'm drinking sweet water. I don't feel that coconut. That coconut electrolyte vigor from that freshly young coconut. So for the men watching, though, the females and males, like, what's the best superfood to take? The three best superfoods to take. That's yeah. like whether it's herbs or As capsules. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. As a vegan, someone plant based, I would recommend that you get on chlorella and spirulina. Those two together, you know, you can take those. You can combo those. That'll give you your B12s, your active B12s that you need since you're not eating meat or any sorts of plant uh, matter. You need spirulina and chlorella, those two, 100%. Uh, second would be sea moss. And third, I would say herbal tea, such as dandelion root, burdock root, uh, sassaparilla, and um, what else would I say? And clove. clove if you, whole if you, clove. Whole clove, you yeah, know, because that'll, that'll make up for any iron deficiencies that you may be facing. The spirulina and the chlorella will make up with B12. And then the other herbs will just boost your immune system and make sure your system is running, function, functioning properly and uh, giving you those 92 out of 102 minerals that you need to function and think and operate, you know? Our soy is so bad. Like, you know, we over here, you know, me and you, we both plant based. Hey, you keeping it real, though. You know what I mean? I like how you keeping it real. Like, everybody went down that path and, you know, eating bad and all that, but we could change it. It's always room for more change, you know? So, yeah. Morbid Facts, Part 396. After his death in 2018, it was revealed that Stan Lee suffered from repeated elder abuse from various handlers, associates, and members of his family. After his wife passed away in 2018, Stan's inner circle reportedly alienated him from the rest of his friends and family, forged his signatures to extort his money, and dragged him to conventions when he was exhausted and clearly had no idea what was happening.
On one occasion, a former business associate went to Stan's personal nurse with a forged document, giving him authority to order a blood sample <coughs> from Stan. He then told the nurse to fill as many vials as she could and she agreed, taking so much blood that Stan reportedly felt dizzy. The stolen blood was then put into pens that Stan used to sign autographs, making them far more valuable since they contained his DNA. In a separate incident, while on a podcast about Lee's final days, his former business manager Brad Herman claimed that Stan's daughter JC once erupted in anger, grabbed his father by the neck, and slammed his head into the back of a chair. Despite a contusion on his head, Stan allegedly <laughs> begged Herman not to go to police in order to protect his daughter. This is the Cave of the Crystals located in Mexico. Now this cave is home to some of the largest crystals on earth with these huge selenite crystals that can reach up to 40 feet tall. Now this cave was only discovered in the year 2000, so it's relatively new. Now another very interesting fact about this cave is that it's extremely hot with the temperatures reaching up to 130 degrees. Not only that, but the humidity level is 99%, which means that if you're in this cave, it's very, very dangerous because it's so hot that you can't sweat. Because of this, a human can only survive in this cave for about 10 minutes unless they have a lot of specialized equipment. Super, super interesting. Now, this is just one cave. So imagine how many other caves there are just throughout the world that has similar or even more crystals just like this. This is the Cave of the Crystals located in Mexico. You said 10 minutes. You can't even last enough for 10, 10 minutes. The longer you live in 10 minutes. Yeah. That's different. That's a different type of hot. Streamers. This is what you have to understand. This is what the prime creator put us in this criminal element <clears throat> for. So far, the Brooklyn Nets, Atlanta Hawks, and the Orlando Magic have all posted Playboy Cardi with the caption, Drop the Album. And unless I'm stupid, this has to be an album rollout. On his latest post, which was the Nets one, his mask reads, All Red which sounds like a follow-up to Whole lot of Red, again, if I'm not stupid. In typical rollout fashion, I'd expect a lead single very soon and the album in a couple weeks, honestly, because there's no way the label is just throwing big bags at these NBA teams. These posts are very, very <coughs> expensive. But since this is a Playboy Cardi rollout, I can't promise an album, but I do really think one is coming. Personally, I think, did you pick up on this yet? And do you actually think an album is coming? So Simple is here, not nowhere else. Another lie. That's why they made us go to church. To get us outside of our temple. Right. This is your church right here. This is your real church right motherfucking here. You got this aura that's around you. Oh, can we can we just acknowledge like him flying over the water like that? Like if I can fly right now, dude, if I can literally fly in this avatar, I would definitely do that right now. Because you are 666 six, six at your base form. Six electrons, six protons, six neutrons. Aura that's around you, responsible, is the container for your life force. Remember, you have a soul. So the soul is magnetism, and it's the life force, it's the energy. The spirit is the electricity. So you're, you have a field around you. A force field around you called the aura that protects your your life force right so this life force it seeps out of you you have things all over your body little points little pressure points all over your body from your head to your toe and they are called aura nodes so imagine this imaginary field around your body and in your soul is your life force and it's seeping out and it's tapping into this field and it's flowing like a lake so it creates like a little river around your aura field of your life force. And, it's, and the life force is flowing around you uh, through your aura field. It's flowing. And it's supposed to just flow and stay around you. And surface all over you, all through you, all over you, all over you. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to just flow all around you. But. Simple is here. Maybe get an effect. Not nowhere. You know. It's especially in this realm. Yeah. Bro. Do First of all, they don't want us to vibe out. They don't. So they're going to send whoever, parents, whoever, siblings, people, just, they're going to look at you different, bro. It's just how it is. 
We don't want you bobbing hard down here. Especially in this matrix. No. They gonna make it difficult. Something bad is about to happen in the world, and this is why. Yo, this is a bigger deal than people think, and I'm about to tell y'all why. This rare sea serpent just washed up on shore in California not less than 24 hours ago. And it's known as the Doomsday Fish, and I'm about to tell y'all how it got its name and why this is a big-ass deal. But well, first of all, this fish resides in depths of 200 to 1,000 meters, meaning that it's hella rare for this fish to be seen on shore. And the only reason why this fish will come up short is either due to sickness or illness, or there's seismic activity going on. And by seismic activity, I mean the tectonic plates shifting and things like that. But back in 2011, the strongest ever earthquake in Japan happened. It was a magnitude of nine. It was about 15,000 casualties, 6,000 injuries, and 2,000 people were missing. And it was just a big catastrophe for uh, East Japan. It's called the Great East Japan Earthquake. But what does this have to do with the Doomsday Fish? Just a few weeks before that earthquake, this fish washed up on shore. And about 12 of these fish actually washed up on shore. So if 12 of these fish washed up on shore, it's for sure not. It has to do with seismic activity if a group of them washed up like that. That's how it got its name, Doomsday Fish, right? But it just washed up on California shore, so what does that mean? Actually, two days after this Doomsday Fish washed up, there was a 4.6 earthquake in L.A. Back to the four, it's not that big of a deal. But y'all, it gets much deeper than just this earthquake. Scientists said that this earthquake ruptured on a small section of a fault associated with the Pointe Hills thrust fault system. And this fault line goes through a large part of LA. Scientists say that this fault actually competes with the San Andreas fault. Thanks for watching. As always, stay weird. Something bad about. I'm going to have to uh, <clears throat> rewatch that movie, San Andreas. And my. They, I'm telling you, man. They put it in a movie. Why are they put it in the movie? Exactly. It's, it's just some gun, something's coming. For sure. No, how, that was about years ago. How old is that movie? They've been new. Yeah, and this movie came out 2015, so. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch that. We see comes from the sun. Everything. The sun is the creator, not the prime creator, like a carpenter. He gets bricks and wood and makes a house. He can't say he made the bricks and the wood, but he can say that he created and built the house. But he's not the creator. He's a builder. The builder is the sun, but the true prime creator is the original light in the dome of heaven, above the abdomen, where we live. We live in the heart of the God system. Heart is an anagram for earth. We live in the heart of God. When people meet you and they've got a radiating heart, it's radiating horizontally. That's what it's doing. It's radiating in every direction, but it is a plane horizontally. And then you have a vertical ecliptic going through you as well. And all the zodiac signs go through your body. Aries is the cerebrum. Taurus is the cerebellum, the motor nerves. Aries are the sensory nerves. Gemini are the twins. There's your twins. Twin lungs. Cancer is the chest. Leo is the heart, Virgo is the belly, Scorpio is the generative system, ovaries and testes, Sagittarius is the hips, Capricorn's the knees, Aquarius is the shins, and the two feet are the two fish of Pisces. Your body is an ideal blueprint from the transcendence, which... This is why I always do my own research when it comes to history. I never listen to the school system. Every time they have a great reset and they eliminate everybody, they always burn down the evidence. Okay, now pay attention. Watch this video by Early Mississippi in the archives that they have in the library. All right. Okay, then if you go down with this online resources. Yeah, my computer. My, okay, my computer you gave out on me. Hey, just watch the screen, Lee. I, I got it here on the screen. All right, now, cool. I want you to go all the way down to where it says WPA. It's the official website Check now. County files. There you go, right there. County file. Click on that. Now, because my people are from Knoxville County, Mississippi, I want you going out to Knoxville County, Mississippi. <clears throat> I'm going to show you something. Mm. Now, I want you to go all the way down a little bit. It's a reconstruction right period. There. All right, right there. You want to read this. So you're talking about the state of Mississippi. I want to read this, all right? Now, check this out. This says, from the war up to the time I was with Mr. Meyer. 1875 so the time of the war to 1875 this let me know what this is the civil war mm -hmm. right yep all right civil war it says we have been going through what's called reconstruction now we were taught that reconstruction was all about rebuilding the nation after the devastation of the civil war correct right yeah let's say what the let's see what the department of mississippi archive history said it was it said we were going through reconstruction 
or what would be a better term? What does it say right there, brother? Negro, Negro group. Put that over. Now, oh. now it's not a, hey, 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 but this line is, this, but this, hey, but this is backed up by Benjamin Franklin, right? Yes, sir, right. everything lined up. God, you got the, you still what? got it, bro. Go ahead. Okay. Says, or even better yet, or even better, black heels on a white neck. Mm. What that means, they were being oppressed. Mm -hmm. Quote, white folks were being oppressed by these Negroes, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it says, look, now here's another thing. This is going to debunk that, that lie that we were told in 1965, Voters' Right Act gave us the right to vote, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see what it says right here. It says, every office was filled by a northern carpetbagger, right? It says, with mm -hmm. Lockheed and Lowndes County being what? 90% Negro. Mm -hmm. This is 1861. Who oh, heard these things? And we make up 90% of the population. And we the majority. Hold on, let that sit in. Oh, don't Damn. So long story short, that county in Mississippi in 1861 was 90% Negro population. It was voting. It was bankers. It was people owning businesses. And they were literally, they said that they were oppressing the white people. They, they wrote this down themselves. The, the Palm people, they wrote this down. So they deleted all, they're trying to delete all of that, that we had 90% of Mississippi in that county. And then they don't rush everybody out and guess what's the most racist states is out there right now. Yeah. Wake up. TikTok, this is for educational purposes only. I gotta say. I don't know if you saw this Mandela effect. The Fergie, the boom, boom, pow. Have you heard that? Oh, okay, yeah, this Mandela effect. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna do a little game where it's like, finish the lyrics. Okay, okay. okay ready? I'm on that next now. I got that boom, boom, boom. You're so 2008. You're so 2008. Late. Wrong. The whole time, it's not 2008. You're, I'm so 2008. Nah, no, 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 no
Because it's simple. This is death and that's life. Those right. people are now living. You see what I'm saying? Everybody want to go to... This is what a biblically accurate angel looks like. If you didn't know what, the, what angels looked like, imagine how scary this would be. It's got a lot of feathers, about that six or seven different wings. Some have even, even been described as having multiple heads. Heads of a lion, heads of a man, heads of a bird. Thanks for watching. As always, stay weird. This is what a biblically accurate angel looks like. Schizophrenia and bipolar disorders. You do studies, and this is not me speaking. Matter of fact, everything I said today is not me speaking for myself. Uh, these are science backed articles and with much research that you can pull up just from simply Googling these things on the web. But whenever you look at most of your mental disorders, it's always associated with mineral deficiency. Always. So, whenever, yes, it's minerals. Uh, so, minerals kick on enzymes. Enzymes act as a key or ignition to turn on the molecules I was talking about out there where you get a certain thoughts these molecules of emotions turns into a physical principle inside the body so uh we notice that most people that have mental disorders like the ones you mentioned magnesium deficiency and selenium deficiency you notice when you replace the selenium and get magnesium inside the body if it, if the body can utilize and absorb it because the body goes through four functions it goes through digestion mm -hmm. it goes through absorption utilization and elimination so sometimes you can digest the minerals or the food to get the minerals but you you can't absorb them through the small duodenum tract of your stomach where these little fingers at and it goes into blood capillaries to make it inside the bloodstream so you might have to cleanse out the small intestinal tract mm -hmm. once that get cleansed out the adrenal glands might be offline so you probably can't utilize the minerals then after you utilize the minerals they create byproducts and then you got to eliminate it so if all of these four things are working right and you eat the right foods that should get rid of schizophrenia that should get rid of bipolar disorder and all these things uh, and then of course all these things are spiritual too but every so-called disease start off spiritual and that's what we started off the show with so most of your neurological uh diseases or what you will call bipolar disorder and all these other personality disorders literally come from mineral deficiency and if you look at us the united states of america is one of the most mineral deficient countries in the world schizophrenia and bipolar uh, so disorders you do studies and this is not me all right, yo, I'm back on this shit. Nizzy 101, back in effect, you feel me? So this dude, Alan Torn, he is the, like, inventor of AI. He's a mathematician and a computer scientist, yo. Now, listen, right, I want y'all to think about this. He, like, started the AI around, like, 1949, 1950. Now, that's approximately 74 years ago from today. AI advancements got us to the point where we can make robots and shit now fold our laundry, bro. Now, I want y'all to understand where I'm about to get at. Now, we can't say how our robot didn't try to tell us and show us how they was going to look and everything, especially when they get to the highest limit. We also all know about Chad GBT and how smart that John is, right? But listen what the CEO said. My worst fears are that we cause significant. We, the field, the technology, the industry, cause significant harm to the world. Listen, I think right? if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. Uh, and we want to be vocal about that. We want to work with the government to prevent that from happening, but we, we try to be very clear-eyed about what the downside case is and the work that we have to do. The thing about what the chat GPT owner just said, he just came out with that not that long ago, but they've been working on this since 1950. You don't think they got some crazy something in the tuck? Y'all, they've been working on it for 74 years. We just getting it for the last couple years, you feel me? Even Elon said that drone was dangerous. It's really time for us to wake up! All right, y'all, I'm back on if you really want to change your life and change your reality, there has to be something inside of you that wakes the f up. There has to be a fire inside of you. There has to be a profound shift in your consciousness and perception. And nobody can really give you that or teach you that. It has to come from within because the life that you're currently living is the life that you've created via your thoughts and actions. So when people tell me that they want to improve their life, most of the time in my mind, I know that they're not serious because if they were really serious, they would already be doing it instead of just talking about doing it. But see, the reality is change requires you 
to become a different person. And so when we talk about manifestation, most people don't understand that we're actually talking about character development, discipline, focus, consistency. And to keep it real, there's a certain level of obsession and passion that you must cultivate just for life itself. A lot of people wake up every single day dreading the day that's before them because they've put themselves into a perpetual loop of the same shit every day. You have to break that loop by first creating new thoughts that will lead to new experiences and new realities. If you really want to change your life and change your reality, there Stop trying to be perfect. Love yourself how you are. Every flaw that you have is what makes you you. And learn to embrace them. Stop running from them. Once you learn how to accept your flaws, you won't care about what nobody has to say about you because you're at peace with yourself. And you'd be surprised. Those same flaws that you thought were flaws that you didn't accept at first, other people won't even look at them as flaws, but they knew once you accept them. They might actually admire them. But you notice when you're insecure about something, it just seems like everybody just knows. It's revealed to the whole world. But as soon as you stop caring so much about it and you learn to accept it and love it, everybody else will pick up on that frequency and they'll start to love it too. So all in all, love yourself. Flaws and all. Spiritually. Stop trying to be perfect. Love yourself. While filming Rush Hour 2, the set was raided by Secret Service agents because the fake movie money they used to film the final scene was so realistic, extras were picking it up off the street and spending it at local businesses. Movie money is designed to look real, but Independent Studio Services, the prop company that supplied the fake movie money, had done such a good job that some extras pocketed the fake bills and began spending them. <laughs> Despite the bills having obvious errors like the yeah. wrong building on them, missing words, I'm and the it. phrase, in dog we trust instead of, in God we trust, local businesses were initially confused and concerned when they started receiving what they thought was counterfeit money. Although no one was jailed, the Secret Service loosely accused independent studio services of counterfeiting and seized a massive $100 million in fake money. Additionally, the company was ordered to delete all digital files related to the counterfeit bills and was warned that if they produced prop money of that quality again, they would face serious counterfeiting charges. This case serves as a stark reminder of the fine line between realistic props and illegal counterfeiting. While filming Rush Hour 2... Yo, whoever got Vanessa Hudgens pregnant owe me a fade, yo. They owe me a fade. That's my childhood crush, yo. I don't appreciate that. Yo, Yo, whoever got Vanessa Hudgens pregnant, that, that, that celebrity crush that is with somebody I know, I know that feeling. Dang, I feel this. I feel what he's feeling though. Dang. Mm -mm. Yo. Hey yo. We get it in on my block. Me and my friends on my block, and the chicks are so beautiful. Nothing but tens on my block. If you touch one of my homies, then it's bang, bang. I love them boys. So for them, I let that thing rain. If one more chick curves me, I'm going to throw up. I go to meet them out for a date, but they don't show up. <laughs> I keep getting harassed by the cops. Man, go eat a donut. No license or registration when I roll up. But I'm going to be okay. I'm sipping champagne and OJ. She stay on that bull. I'm like Ole. Watch face look like an ice cube. That's O'Shea. He want to borrow money. I said, no way. I'm getting bands every month. Bro, we can throw them hands if you want. Get at me, bro. Get at me. You got problems on your hands. I'm never happy. I'm sick of the mess. You can look at my face and tell he's stressed. But you can see how he dressed. Designer jeans, chain hang over the V-neck. Let's go. Let me hear that back, bro. Alrighty then. <laughs> Morbid NFL facts, part three. When he was a sophomore in college, NBA legend Carl Malone had a child with a 13-year-old girl. The son grew up to become NFL player Demetrius Bell, but he said he only met his dad on one occasion after graduating high school. Where Malone told him it was too late for a father-son relationship and that he would have to make his way on his own. In 1993, NFL player Jeff Alm crashed his car while under the influence, killing his best friend but leaving Jeff completely unharmed. Alm then retrieved a shotgun from the wreck, fired two desperation shots in the air, and then sat down and took his own life. 
After 9-11, NFL safety Pat Tillman turned down a multi-million dollar offer from the Cardinals to instead join the U.S. Army. He served several combat tours in the Army Rangers before he was tragically killed by friendly fire in the mountains of Afghanistan. Prior to his death, Tillman called the American invasion and occupation of Iraq effing illegal. Morbid NFL. If you're trying to lose weight, forget dieting, forget trying to eat as little as possible, forget trying to drink iced coffee so you don't get hungry, here's what you're going to do. You're going to, every time you are hungry and you have an empty stomach, you're going to eat some sort of protein or vegetable. Always fill up on protein and vegetables first, and then eat your carbs and your sugars. Always fill up on vegetables. That's the number one way that you are going to lose weight because then your body is going to have those good nutrient-dense foods to work with and it's not going to spike your blood sugar because a lot of people when they're hungry they start to crave carbs and sugars because that's a fast form of energy. It's a quick way for your body to get energy because they they digest quickly and they're easy they're easily converted into energy, but just deny those cravings. You're going to eat some sort of protein and some sort of vegetable, and I promise you'll see a difference. If you're trying to lose weight... Oh, good. But sugar is a lot of fat. They didn't want John Witherspoon. They didn't want him. They thought he was too ghetto. They uh, thought that John was too country, that he was too Detroit. You know, that you're a Detroit player, brother. <laughs> you know, John has a very you know distinct yeah, personality. Exactly. Bro. They didn't want him as our father. Me and Sean was like, we don't want no other father. And they was like, either you replace the father or you don't get on our air. And we said, we're not replacing the father. And so NBC didn't pick us up. So then we're nowhere. And then WB is being created. And they need a flagship show. And we did this pilot called Wayne's Brothers. And they was like, we'll take it. We'll take it. So me and Sean, with John, and we said, you got to take John with us. Boom, bet. And from there, the Wayne's Brothers. We have a loyalty and we have instincts. And you got to trust your instincts. That sucks. He he passed away too. Dang. All right, Jesus. What you got for me today? I got some kindness. I got compassion, and I got love for all mankind. You better get up on some of that, man. Don't nobody want no shit like that. Oh man, we'll <laughs> your stanky ass then, man. All right, Jesus. What you got for me today? I got some. <laughs> Is there any way you wanna like that? Yeah, that was funny. I don't know what smells better, the New York air. For your magnificent perfume. Oh, well, I thank you. That's very kind of you. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's an Adam's apple. I'm a player. I don't play that way. Don't walk up. I'm a player. So a lot of people are stating that this Eminem that just dropped this new album is not the same Eminem. And for reference, we put this side by side picture of what we call Eminem. You can clearly see that these are two different people. Even the eye color looks different. Why does it look like it's a reptilian eye? You know what I'm saying? And look at the face and then the ears. You can see the ears. It looks like something else, right? The ears look like this this demon face syndrome thing that they have been telling us about lately. I mean, look at it. Same pointed ear and the eyes are literally telling you that. That's another, that's another person. Do you guys remember this? I was Marshall Mathers. Now I'm just a shell of who I used to be. Tonight more. 60 minutes. And I'm Marshall Mathers. All that what? All that more? Tonight on 60 minutes? I was Marshall Mathers. Now I'm just a shell. Marshall Mathers. Some of you may know him as Eminem, but he's going to join the Saturday night. Look at him. It's like nobody's home. Do you see him? It's like nobody is home. You messed up. Look at that. You see, this is why they have to get new aliases when they become rappers because it's a way to dissociate their old life with this new life or this new entity that's going to be harboring their body now. Which by now, I'm sure a lot of you guys know that these people are all clones. But let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. And please be sure to follow me on all these platforms. Thank you for attending my frequency. Let's get most this shift. Of, most of them people, they got it gone. Because ain't no way you just change. You just change like that. In the That's Disney crazy. movie called Up, there's a lot of stuff going on, bro. First, mm -mm. This is a matrix. Nine minutes. I can't do that, y'all.
You don't skip that one. They don't exist. Then how can karma be? The only thing you know that accumulates karma in your thing is something you do physically. Right. Some negative thing. You see what I'm saying? So it's a contradiction. You can't tell me that Maya, illusion, the world of appearances, this is illusion, this is illusion, this is what you call it. It doesn't exist. But yet, if you do something up in that non-existence, <laughs> your soul gonna be fucked up. <laughs> that means somebody playing a trick on you. You see, so even that alone is a contradiction in turn. I got to neutralize the ego so I can get through the matrix that don't exist so I can see pure light and pure consciousness and all that shit here. But yet, do you mean to tell me that the shit that I'm trying to get away from is valid enough? That, that valid that I get punished for fucking up that shit? That I'm trying to get away from? It don't make no sense. It don't hold no water. You see, but we, but that's, the, here it is again. They take it something face value because people don't study the origin of things. You see what I'm saying? They don't study the origin of things. The Buddhism that goes into that stuff is a religion, and that's a late conception. You see what I'm saying? It, this is a Hi, my name is Naya. I'm 22 years old, and I have stage 2 cancer. And I made a video on this app talking about smoking and drinking and the consequences that it can have with smoking and drinking. I don't want them to have cancer like me. And I'm just really upset because that video has been up for two months and it's helped a lot of people from what I've known. It's helped a lot of people put down their vapes and their drinking. And I'm just so sad about it because TikTok, after two months, they said that it's violating community guidelines, so they took down the video. And I'm just sad about it because it was like helping people. And it was saving their lives of trying to become better. And TikTok says it's violating community guidelines. But they literally put it back up yesterday and then banded it again today. So it literally makes no sense. But it just breaks my heart because I just, I just want to help people. And like people just want to like ban my stuff when I'm, I just truly want to help people. That's all I want to do. I don't want to have cancer like me. I don't. And that's the whole reason why I was crying to people. Because I wanted to know how important that their life is. I just don't want people to end up like me. And no, I did not get cancer from smoking or drinking. I'm just strictly doing it. <laughs> to let people know you can get these things from these harsh chemicals that you're putting in your body. Right. Hi, my name is Naya. I'm 20. Some people see that and still keep smoking too, you know? That's crazy. Like, if you're going to do that, like, do it once a month, you know? Like, you ain't got to do it every day. Truth, give me my motherfucking Let me one. Let my motherfucking shit go. I'm not playing. Yeah, draw you in like that for real? Yes, that's my plate. I made. Truth, give me my motherfucking one. Let my motherfucking shit go. Dang, he wasn't playing about that food right there. I ain't know why. He he was hungry. Bro, get the okay. fuck out my face. Do not see that for it. He shape shifted. You don't see that? Nah, run that back, bro. Truth, give me my motherfucking shit. Let my motherfucking shit go. I'm not playing. In a drawer, you act like that for real? Yes! That's my point! He wife. said, You act like that for real? <laughs> my boy shape shifted into a whole nother person, yo. That is funny. I'm sorry. Bro, get the okay. fuck out of my face. Do not see that for it. Get the fuck out of my do face. Do not say that word. Or what? Do not say that word. What you gonna do? Do not say that word. What you gonna do? Do not say that word. What you gonna do? Do not say that word. Don't be that like. Don't be like this right now. Don't say that word. Don't be like this right now. No, you're the one that's don't, rude. I'm not being you rude. You are the one that's you're rude. You're right shit for me. Nope. All right. Give me your stuff. No. Nope. Call the police. Why should I call? You Because you said you wanted to call them, right? Yeah, because of your profanity. That's why. What is profanity going to do? The F word, man. What is that? You do not What's say wrong it. With that? You What's know wrong what? With that? What's wrong with that? Because you What's know what? If that? you had been a white person, you wouldn't have been saying profanity. How? You know that? I just know Please it. Please get out of my face, man. I just man. know it. I just know it. If you want to call the police. No, I just know it. 
Give me your stuff. Br call the police. Give me your stuff. I don't like how you're in my face right Give now. Give me your stuff. I'm not in your face no. right now. If I was in your face, I'd be right here. Give me your stuff. Back up. Give me your stuff. Back up. Give me your stuff. Back up. Come on. Back up. Come on. Back the fuck up. I'm not in your space. You too close to me. I'm not in your space. And you yelling. You acting crazy right now. Okay. Give me your stuff. Go in your car. Give me I'll a restriction. Come on. Girl, Come on. Back the fuck up. Come on. Give me a restriction. Yeah, you ain't your insurance. Yelling. Do you have that? I do okay. have that. Are you are you driving without any insurance? Are, are you? you? I'm not. Exactly. Are you? Oh, you think I'm going to drive this without insurance? I think you stole you must, this. You think you I stole it? Yeah, I think. Oh, must yeah. be. Yeah, no, right. no, seriously. I All think right. you did. All right. Okay, come on. Give me your insurance. Back then. up out of give my me, face. Okay, one step. Okay, no, give me get in your car. I'm going to call no, the police. come on. No, All right, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Talk. Come on, go no, ahead and talk. Get out of my fucking come face. Come and call. Get out of my I'm face. I'm asking for your get insurance out of my and face. restriction. That's all I'm asking for. Because you don't want to here yelling. I'm not yelling. Okay, I'm not going to yell. Regardless of, okay. Okay, okay, then go calm down. I will call I the will. police. Okay, you come down I, too. No, you I'm calm. Down too. I, am I you came out your car to manage no, 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 no. it, and I was okay. I was going to be respectful. Okay, I'm you gonna came be respectful. out. Okay, it, okay then, ma'am. Okay, fine. I'm not trying to disrespect you. I'm you came either. out of your car demanding shit. Okay, I was going. No, I asked, uh, no, let me finish you asked me first. You no, asked you did me not. First. Yes, you did. No, you did no, not. You asked no, me you first. No, you did not. I you said, did you see me backing out? You asked me first. All right. You asked me. Go ahead. Keep talking. Go ahead. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. No, you asked me. You're right. Bro, I can't do that. I represent the same shirt you got on. Back up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Call the police. If you so, like, if you, do you feel threatened by me? I'm not. Okay, then can you back up and go to your car? Because I feel what threatened you, by you because you're so close no. to me. And you in my vicinity. How many back the fuck up. No, how back many the fuck up. I'm not in back your face. Back the fuck I'm up. I'm not in your face. No. No, 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 no. I want you guys to listen to this very important message this brother had to say. You can tell by his body language and mannerism that he is sincere in everything that he has to say. This truth can no longer be hidden, y'all. Check this out. Hey there, my family. This is your brother, Dana, and I'm coming to you from the city of Atlanta. You know, the decision today from the Supreme Court was not a shock to me because we know that every system in this nation, including the justice and the Supreme Court, was made to sustain, maintain, and above all else, protect white supremacy, white power, white privilege. But see, this is what my white family don't understand. And what they don't understand is the time of us Gentiles is up. The time of the Gentiles is up, white family. So it doesn't matter about your military power. It doesn't matter about your president in the office. It doesn't matter even about the Supreme Court's decision to protect your white supremacy. Because the Bible says that the time of the Gentiles will come to a fulfillment. And you are the generation to see and witness the fulfillment. Luke 21, 24, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Those are our black brothers and sisters and will be led away captive into all nations. That was our black brothers and sisters, ancestors that were taken into all nations by the Atlantic slave trade. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down by the Gentiles who are our current white Ashkenazi Jewish people. And look up what ish on the end of the word means in the English language. And these Jewish Gentiles will trodden down Jerusalem until the time of the Gentiles is fulfilled to you my gentile family members the time of our reign has been fulfilled it is now time for jacob to rise to the head our black brothers and sisters that we have held captive underneath white supremacy for more than 400 years they are the real Hebrews of the Bible. And what took place in Egypt 
to the powerful Pharaoh in his kingdom will be exactly what takes place into this mystery Babylon, the United States of America. As God, or the Most High God, comes to set his precious chosen children, our black brothers and sisters, the real Hebrews of the Bible, free. And so there is no Supreme Court ruling. There is no president, no army, no intelligence that you can have. To hold back the most high Yah God coming to get his children. Oh, Remember, Pharaoh <laughs> thought he was all that in a bag of chips, too. <laughs> mm. And they have been warned over and over again to let us go, but still we are kept in captivity. This is why TikTok has done what it done to the majority black creators. This is also why DeSantis chose to remove our history from the school system. They don't want their children to know what their ancestors have done to us. But with this new age that we have entered, everything in the dark must come to light, must face mm -hmm. the light. This is why mm -hmm. the sun is so bright right now. Nothing can hide underneath the sun. All truths will be revealed in due time, y'all. The truth cannot remain mm -hmm. hidden anymore. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comments below. Keep up with me on my Instagram, my YouTube. I mean, they, they have their time. They have their fun. And now it's our time, you know? It's time for this garage, you know? Like, <laughs> everybody was going through it out here with these, these whatever, whatever is in time travelers, reptilians, whatever it is. They had their fun. They had their time. And now it's time for us to have our time. Simple as that. Do y'all see this? tell me that you guys are seeing what i'm seeing i'm looking at an angel blowing the trumpet i mean clearly you guys can see the wings and he's got the trumpet in his hands over here and you can see the sound or the energy that's being produced out of the trumpet and then once i zoom in you can clearly see a face right here's one eye here's the other eye look you can even see the iris and the pupil Here's the nose, here's the mouth, and look at the structure of the head. Can y'all see what I'm talking about? How about now? Do y'all see what I'm talking about now? There's clearly another face there. So back to the angel, because clearly this is what we're seeing once we look at the bigger picture. You guys know about the seven angels and the seven trumpets, right? Ironically enough, a lot of these things are taking place right now. Angel sounded a trumpet and there was hell mixed with fire with blood it hurled down to the earth a third of the earth was burned up and a third of the trees were burned up and all the green grass was burned up what is everybody talking about right now how basically the sun is burning up everything their crops their plants vegetation there's wildfires currently happening all over the planet there's mountains that are all ablaze a third of the living creatures in the sea died and we're seeing a whole bunch of that also a third of the ships were destroyed right we have water spots destroying yachts we have animals orcas whales they are sinking ships a great star blazing like a torch fell from the sky and we're watching a lot of things falling from the sky right now looking like transformers the name of the star is wormwood which is another name for nibiru or planet x which is why we have been seeing the x in the sky in regards to the sun and also the moon all I'm saying, y'all, it looks like prophecies are being fulfilled. And just like I've been saying, this thing is only going to intensify because we are going through a universal shift. And by the way, this is Ontario, Canada. And before seeing the angels, they were also experiencing the red sky, just like we saw in Minnesota and Wyoming and all other places around the world. I keep telling y'all, this is a very interesting time to be alive and things are heating up pun intended because things really are heating up the planet is heating up but let me know what you guys think about this video believe it or not some of these hurricanes they do make some of the hurricanes i'm finna put y'all on game right quick what's going on bro is deeper than what you think bro they got weather manipulation technology but they can't do everything everything not them some earthquakes are them every earthquake not them some of these Hurricanes be them. Every hurricane is not them. You understand that some of this shit be the planet and other animals fighting back. They fighting back. And it's like, we don't see it like that. The world doesn't see it like that. But that's what Mother Nature, Planet T, might literally be doing sometimes. It's fighting back. 
This is footage of the newest Neuralink patient playing a video game, controlling it with his mind. Elon then followed up saying hundreds of people will have the Neuralink in a few years, in five years, tens of thousands, and in 10 years, millions of people will have the Neuralink. For people who lost their limbs, they can attach parts of the Optimus robot, and with Neuralink, they can control the limbs with their own mind. Take parts of the Optimus, Optimus humanoid robot and you combine that with a Neuralink. Let's say somebody has lost their arms or legs, uh, well, we, we could actually attach an Optimus arm or Optimus legs uh, and uh, do a Neuralink implant so that the, the motor commands from your brain that go, would go uh, to your, your biological arms now go to your robot arms or robot legs. Um, and again, you'd, you'd have basically cybernetic superpowers. This is footage of the newest Neuralink patient. I mean, it's hey, that's definitely helpful. That is very helpful. But come on, man, printing a chip in your brain. I'd rather just say forget it, man. If if that was supposed to happen to me in this lifetime, so be it. You know, I just say forget it. It is what it is. But because printing a chip in your brain, I don't think I could do that one. Nah, I'm good. It's already bad enough. We already got a chip in our hand, so. So it has came to my Skip attention that half of the population does not have an inner monologue. If people are starting to wake up to them not having an inner monologue. And I know some people are going to be like, what is an inner monologue? You know, like having a conversation with yourself inside of your head. And the statistics show that it's up to 30 to 50% of the population that do not have an inner monologue. As in, they don't have a conversation with themselves inside of their head or someone who internalizes their dialogue. And I was thinking to myself, 30 to 50% would be outrageous. Until I start seeing the numbers add up, including the CDC said it their self. I'm just highly curious on how do these people make decisions? I know if I make any executive decisions, I have to have a long discussion with me and myself. Which leads me to the question of, is these people real? Are they bots? I'm just curious. I will be absolutely terrified if I even went one day without talking to the realest nigga I know. Me. <laughs> y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this video in the comments. Like and follow for more ways to That's be stated. That's real. Do you know about the O'Hare Airport sighting? Which one's up? So in like 06, a UFO came down, it hovered for a few minutes, and then shot straight up, punched a hole in the clouds. I had just quit working at O'Hare around this time. So I had friends who were still there. When this UFO came down, people on Mannheim Road, the road on the side of O'Hare, got out of their cars, like just stopped the light, got up, and were looking and staring at it. People were, who were working, where we were, we worked for American Eagle Airlines, walked out of the rooms and were just staring at it float and then shoot up and punch a hole in the clouds. You know what they said? Weather phenomenon. So there's a photo of it. Uh, a pilot took a photo of it. This is back when like very early phone cameras. It's a very grainy, awful picture. It was out, out of the cockpit of a window, a pilot took a photo. It's one of those subjects where people automatically dismiss it. It's been so touted by kooks that anybody talking about UFOs has to be out of their fucking mind. But then when you see these videos and you see them performing these impossible tasks, like they, these, these things are moving in a way that we've never seen anything move before. They don't know what these are. Do you know about the O'Hare Airport? All right, y'all. That's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, got a little laughing, learn something, all that good stuff. It's in peace, abundance, prosperity, good health your way, all that good stuff. Make sure you take care of yourself. Go outside, take a walk, all that. Okay. And if you do enjoy videos like this, be sure to come back for another video tomorrow. Because I post every day. If you don't want to miss out, make sure you put the notification bells on. All right. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next upload. Peace.